Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Tom Mitchell, the Highland Traveler. I've had this Shadowlight backpack from Outdoor Vitals now for, I don't know, six or eight months and had it on quite a few outings. And so I think it's time to give it a real honest review and uh, talk a lot more about it. So as you can see, this pack is the 60 liter Shadowlight pack. I really like this pack a lot actually. The more I've had it, the more I've, it's grown on me. It's got these nice big waist belt pockets. I really like these things. You can store a lot of things in them, protein bars. My only complaint with them is they're hard to zip back up. You look at that. And I just can't get it. <laughs> it's just difficult to, to get back zipped, zipped back up with the pack on. You kind of have to reach around, pinch it, and then pull it in. Got one on both sides. Got my headlamp and stuff in there. Same thing, even not even undone all the way. And I'm having a hard time getting it. That's a little bit problematic but they're better than any any other pack I've seen. Uh, so it's just one of those things. So it's got these nice big pockets at the bottom, big enough to hold the two liter water, or two one liter water bottles. 
in theory, you should be able to reach around and pull this out. I have a really difficult time doing it. I can I can get it up and get it out. And then when I go to, that's, that was a little difficult. They had to push it up. And getting it back in is actually a little easier, as you can see. That's not bad. Uh, I'm a little muscle bound. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> so I'm, I have a little bit of a hard time getting it to, up unless I push right there and get it up high enough that I can then get hold of it it's honestly kind of a pain in the butt when you're hiking on the trail to reach around and get it I'm going to get something to hang a water bottle right here possibly um, you can see there I've got my smart water bottle and my uh, Catadine be free in there. This side, I've got my first aid kit. It's in a baggie. Then it's got upper pockets. I'll get to those in a second. So I really like the waist belt. Uh, it's it's a must for me anymore to have a pack that's got a waist belt that you can loosen right there to loosen it and pull there to tighten it. You could just go like that, cinch it up nice and tight. If you wanna take some weight off your shoulders while you're hiking and then loosen it, if you wanna put some weight back on your shoulders cause your hips start hurting, which is what I do when I'm on a long trek. I'll tighten it up. When my hips get tired, I'll loosen it up, let the weight on my back more and just alternate. It's so much easier than those kind you have to sit there and fiddle with. I just, I hate packs like that. I've got a couple that I still use occasionally that I'm going to put on these kind of, of uh, adjustments. So I really like the waist belt. The sternum strap, good sternum strap. The shoulder straps are nice. They're nice and padded. They're, this is an ultralight pack. This is the 60 liter pack and it weighs one pound, 15 ounces. So it's one ounce under two pounds, very ultralight and Right now with the water, I think I've got like 22 pounds in here. I've got everything in here for one overnight, you know, food and, and everything I need, my hammock and that. And it's right at, I think 22 and maybe 22 and a half pounds with the water on here. So um, I think that was even counting that, my, my Garmin. So I really like these shoulder straps. They're really good. I've, uh, I've got an attachment point right here for my uh, DS, my uh, digital camera, where I can just clip it on there and carry it there. I've had that for a while and I just decided to stick it on. So I'm really liking this. Let me, let me take it off here and show you some more close up stuff of it. So here's the back side of it that goes against your back. You can see I've gotten it dirty. I got pine tar on it right there. That's what a pack is for. <laughs> so, so as you can see, it's got a really nice back pad that is removable. This thing totally removes, so you can use it as a butt pad or a kneel pad. You can also use it if you're a hammock camper like me, pull it out in the winter and put it uh, at, the, at your foot, at the bottom of your feet there under your top quilt to help give some added insulation to your feet so you don't get cold foot syndrome, which I get often. <laughs> you see the nice straps? This is ultra light, as I was saying. So it's, uh, they're, they're quite lightweight and small. The, the nylon webbing is actually really lightweight which i find appealing nylon webbing is really strong you put a bunch of big beefy nylon webbing on packs and it adds a ton of weight this is really really nice there's a closer look at the at the design of the uh the waist belt so the waist belt is removable you see you can actually unattach it with velcro it's got Velcro right there, so you can remove the waist belt if you want to strip this down to even less weight. 
I prefer having a waist belt on, on my packs. Shoulder straps are pretty decent. It's a good solid material. It's, it's nice and soft. And all, all the, the, the outings I've had this on so far, I can't complain about those at all. So on the top of both sides, you've got another big pocket. That's just a nice simple pocket. It's got a, an adjustment cord so you can tighten it down, stop stuff from coming out. This is where I have my kitchen. I got my, my spoon, my little lid lifter that I've got, my stove, my uh, titanium mug and stove. There's, there's the water, the one down there where I have the water. Um, you got that on both sides, really nice. I, I'm finding I like these rather than a bunch of zippers, just to have these are easy to get in and out. On the back here, it's got two big beefy mesh stretch pockets. I mean, these things you can get a lot in. I've got my coat. I've got the Outdoor Vitals Loftech jacket in that wet bag. In this one, I've got my tarp, my stakes, and a uh, little bag I've been carrying to pick up garbage. Just a little, small little bag I can open up and stick garbage in if I need to. And uh, I normally carry my raincoat in there. My wife has it right now. She's off on a hike with her brother, <laughs> brother's kids. So um, really, these things really stretch out nicely. I really, really like those. It's very easy to just stuff them full of things that you're going to need to access quick and that you don't care if they get wet or if they're going to get wet, you could just put them in a, in a dry bag like I did that red one and then just there you're good to go. So um, on this side, I have my, my toiletries, my, my little, little shovel, toilet paper, and down there I have my um, for my first aid kit. So a lot of people complain about the zipper on this being a weak point. Yeah, you can unzip it to access to get in there easily. It's a roll top bag, which I like, but I also really like having the zipper. If I want to carry my camera, some extra camera gear in here, I can access it easily with the zipper. Actually, when I load this thing up, I typically load it, undo the zipper and load my hammock in the bottom, then my then my uh, top quilt and uh, my pillows and that, and then the food goes up on top. So I think the zipper is a great idea. Um, it is a weak point that may break. Uh, if you're out in the field and you're you know, 10, 15 miles in and that thing breaks, you're gonna be kind of hard set. <laughs> so I actually carry extra straps with me partially this this does not have any attachment points for the straps as i've talked about on some other videos there's no place to add to add extra straps on it it's got very minimal um tie downs on the outside it's got this this small bungee that i put my trekking poles on and also attach to my spoon and my lid lifter so that they won't fall out and then it's got a basic loop right there that trekking pole loop um, that's pretty much the only external attachment points. I strap my tripod down, as you saw in some of the, in some of the intro videos, I run a strap just around right behind here and, and around and to strap down the top of my tripod. And then if I need to, I'll run another one right around here. I'll run another one right around here and around just around behind the water bottle to strap in the bottom of what I'm carrying. And uh, that's worked fine for me. So I need to have those extra straps on there for when I'm carrying my tripod and something else like my little backpacking guitar. So worst case, if this zipper did break and went zip up, I would have those straps, which are already there being utilized to just pull it tight and help keep stuff in. You notice I put all my stuff inside in individual dry bags. There's um, my pillows. There's nothing I hate worse than going camping, backpacking for three or four days and coming back exhausted because I couldn't sleep well. And switching to a hammock has made a big difference for me with that. And then just taking a couple luxury items like two inflatable pillows instead of one. And this is another pillow. This is actually my 
my pillow <laughs> it's actually my pillow for my pillow.com um their travel pillow it doesn't go up very small as you can see it takes up quite a bit of room but this thing i love i love having it and then i've got my food right there there's my top quilt which is in a dry bag and my hammock which has a built-in under quilt it's a hammock from superior gear so if if this zipper were to break you know i mean i could just tight it first off stuff's probably not going to fall out very easily because of the way i have it stowed in there but second thing i always have those extra straps that will come across to me pulling this tight i don't think it will you see you don't the thing with zippers you don't want to you really don't want to stress them while you're zipping them up so pull it together and then zip it up you know you could even set them at halfway point i prefer them just up top but that's just the way I like it. So the roll top on this thing is your basic roll top. I've got room to spare there because I've only got in one day's worth of food. So as you see, I've got my food bag with my food in it and some paracord for hanging it if I need to hang it, which I usually do just to keep the, the uh, rodents out of it. So just a very basic roll top. It's got Velcro right there to line it up and then just roll it down. My biggest complaint with this is that if I pack it all the way full, I don't have any corded, any uh, nylon webbing left if I have it packed with a lot of food. I don't have any nylon webbing left to stow anything on top typically don't but there are some instances where i might want to carry a sleep pad and putting it on top would be really really handy there's no bottom attachments on this pack at all to attach anything off the bottom to have it hanging down so that's your really your only bet so i have been talking about this and i've just got to do it um just buy i buy my my accessories like this from a place called Strapworks out of oregon all I need to do is buy an, an, another piece of, of webbing like this and two, uh, two more of these attachment, uh, two more of these side squeeze pieces. Then if I have it all the way filled up, I could actually just add that extra strap to it to put a, a sleep pad on top if that's what I wanted to do. So I'm really liking this pack a lot. The more I have carried it, the more I really appreciate it. I appreciate how light it is. Uh, I mean, really, <laughs> I appreciate the thought that was put into the size of these pockets and the how easy it is to stow stuff in them. Like I said, my biggest complaint is the zipper on these is too difficult to zip back up when you've unzipped it. When you're walking and you want to get in there, it, that's really difficult. I, I think it would have been better to have it to where you could open it from either side because then you could probably put it, you know, just in the middle, pull there, pull there. I don't know, though. I mean, it looks easy like this. But when you're trying to get your hand around there, you, you've got, you can't reach back here and grab hold of it. it, it you can't, it's ultimately what you have to do, but it's a little difficult. So I think that's the only really flaw that I have is getting into those and uh, zipping it back up when you're, when you're, finish getting out your snacks or whatever so that's the shadow light backpack i'm really really liking this pack I, uh, I think it's going to stay with me for a long time. I don't see buying anything else, and if it wears out and they're still selling them, I'll buy another one. I mean, honestly, I really like it. I've yet to take it on a really long trip, like, you know, a 14-miler uh, a in a day or anything like that. But from what I 
carried it so far, I think it would be comfortable, as comfortable as anything else, and more and more comfortable than some that I've got. So I'm really liking it. So if you've got any questions about it, you can comment down in the comments on this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and happy trails.